guys welcome welcome back so I thought I would go in and I had to do my own nails because you know they weren't looking so hot so I decided to go pretty basic I've been in like a very neutral just kind of classic vibe so I did this on my nails so I thought I would go in and show you how I achieved this look, I always ding myself on my right hand. I'm right-handed, so this is, when I'm doing it, I'm doing it with my non-dominant hand. She got a couple little one-twos. So I left two nails out, and I thought I would just quickly show you how I achieved this little look. Kind of like with the rings, I call these like this little rings. Yeah. Okay, let's jump right in. First things first, I am going to just take a little bit of acetone and I'm going to wipe off these two nails and the reason for that is I did put a little oil on my my cuticle or my nail proximal fold was actually a little dry from doing my nails yesterday so I did want to put a little on I wanted to kind of saturate them a bit they need some loving but I want to get all that off before I go in with any gel onto my nails. So I'm just going to go quickly and put a base coat on. Remember guys, very thin layer base. We don't want a thick base. It will cause peeling and chipping to whatever you put on it. Okay, quick pass in the lamp. Today we're going to use the Born Pretty Solid Cream Gels. I just got these in, so I wanted to play with them a little bit more. I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand, am I? And I did just go ahead and use the Born Pretty base coat as well for that. I'll have to wait till I get to my other hand back. No, nope, it's not going to work. Yeah, so we're going to use the base coat. We're going to do like a baby boomer first and then we're going to go in and how I achieved this marble look is just stamping. I just stamped that on. But I want to go in and kind of do, like I said, that baby boomer on the underneath. And then yeah, okay. So this is that palette. You see I've used quite a bit of that white. Now I'm just going to get the brush and I kind of like to loosen some of it up. This is a cream gel, a solid cream gel, so it is a little bit firmer, but I like to get just a little bit in an area loose and then I'm going to just go and paint on my little baby boomer. And how I do that and achieve that look is I just paint from, I can see my natural nail. I want to cover up my natural nail. Like to see it underneath there. I don't really like that transition. I personally just think it looks meh. I don't know. I just never liked it to see my natural nail underneath. So I want to go up basically that far. Just above that area is where I'm going to stop. Okay, we did this. I don't know how to sponge somewhere. Just take a little sponge. This is just a makeup sponge that I cut. And I'm just going to tap just along that line. Okay. And if you see that it's like a little harsh, go back in there. We don't want any harsh lines. We want it to ombre quite seamlessly. To be honest, so we just do a little one twos. Okay, you see that? That is where we're at. I'm fine with that. Okay, we're gonna just stick that in. Look, I'm like I'm my own worst client. I just nicked my nail. Now we're going to stick it in the lamp and just give it a quick little flash. Gonna get some more of this over here. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just going to do a flash. We don't need to fully cure that. And we're basically going to repeat the same steps. Now, it's going to depend on how dark you want that white at the bottom. Like, if you want it really, really white, you're going to have to do this a few times. I want it kind of like a medium. It's like a milky-ish white, right? Like, that's the consistency I'm going for. So I think I'm going to do it around three times and it's exactly the same. You just oh, wow. Like my tummy just was like, whoa. Sorry guys. I wanted to do my nails before I ate lunch and <clears throat> pardon me, my tummy is like, oh, I don't agree with you. You should have fed me first. Patience, tummy. Now just get a little clean up brush. I just have this square gel brush actually. I'm not really a fan. I don't really like, I don't know, I prefer an oval brush rather than a square brush when applying gel, but I do like the little square brushes for cleanup brushes. They get right in there. So, but you can tell my hair is, sorry, flash cure that. I'll have to trim that little hair off. Okay, now we're gonna do it one more time. But with this one, whoop, did I get some of that red on there? Again, concentrating most of the color at the bottom of your nail, the free edge there. But now I'm just going to go over the whole nail, but very, very, very thin. You're almost not going to be able to tell that much of a difference. So you can't really overly tell much of a difference. And I just do that just to get like that thin, thin little overlay of it. I feel like it does just kind of finish it a little bit. So, ever so thin in my opinion because I just don't want a lot of pigment up there. I really want that to still flow and to see the difference even when I go over it with the stamping. So get a little bit more pigment down here. And I feel like I have, we have a fuzzy, fuzzy in the house. Bye bye fuzzy. Okay. Okay. How are we liking that? I think that's pretty good. Now here, we're not going to dab it. We're just going to go over just with the edge of your brush, very, very light. And you see how I kind of get that just to blend? Then you can keep this the more pigment down below. That's how I do mine, guys. Like, honestly, I'm not even going to lie to you. This is the first time I've ever tried this. <laughs> I know that might sound really bad or a little shocking to be like, um... You always seem like you know it. Well, not know it all, but like I do pride myself on like educating myself. So I do like to learn new things. But there's only so many hours in a day to try everything out, right? Like it all takes time to get to that point to try things is what I'm just trying to say. So it's the first time I've actually ever tried a baby boomer nail. And I think it's cute. But like I said, guys, I've been in such... Like, why are you doing this to me in my life? Like, what did I ever do you? If I'm not feeling this, which I feel like I might not be, because you see those little lumpies? You see that little? That looks like it got cured. So I'm going to show you how to fix that guy. Little annoying dude. Okay. What was I saying? 
Oh yeah, lately I've just been in, I don't know, just a, like a kind of basic. I just want basic nails. So this is my take on basic. This to me is very basic. It's not bright. It's not nothing crazy. It can go with anything. So I just wanted some basic beauties and that's the vibe I've been in from my, even my last set was just very calm neutrals. So that's what we're doing today. We're going, we're just doing some basic beauties. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Can I bright colors all the time? Well, you can't and I love them. But I feel like I get, I get sick of bright, bright and just like very bold nails. I'll get sick of them way faster than I will something like this. So I'm just taking a little bit of acetone. It can be alcohol, it's just because I have acetone right beside me in a little dish. Ready for my stamping. Cover that up. So that's a little lumpy because something got cured in that. A light, ever so light. Again, go back over it with acetone or alcohol. Now I'm just going to go over it one more time with that color. And that's just how we fix a lumpy. Like, they happen. Sometimes you just didn't see the fluffy little dude got in there, snuck his way in. And now that got cured. So the, really the only way to get that is to buff it out. You can go over with top coat and top coat it and do all that I guess and not really care but if you want to get it out and still have a good nail um yeah just wait go over it wipe off the, your tacky layer and then you we have no more we have no more little lumpy right so you just gotta wipe off the tacky layer give it a little buff a light buff nothing crazy because we don't want to take off too much of the product I like that go over this nail with a little something so you really want thin Thin is our friend, but we want to secure what we have, right? In case we don't like what we put over top of it, we can wipe it off easily and not affect what we have going on underneath. So it's just literally a layer of protection. Oops. Okay, we're good. Like, I really, like, mashed up my nail proximal folds a little. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, there's times where I do my filing and I hardly, like, don't even nick myself. And then there's times, especially these two fingers. These two fingers, my ring finger and my pinky finger. Like, I don't know what it is, but when I'm doing these two, I don't know if it's just the way, like, maybe I'm not as flexible to bend. I don't know. It's... It's a weird one because I always mash up these two. It doesn't matter. Poor nails. Like, poor, poor fingers. Like, okay. So, we're going to do a little stamping now. So, we're going to use this plate, which is PYJO34. It's a really beautiful plate. I'm pretty positive it is an alley find. Guys, it's for the future. It's going to be so hard for me to link just the plate. I will always put the plate number and I know that might not always make sense because a lot of people make different or same plates, different numbers, but it's going to be really hard for me to go through and find every single plate that I tend to use in my future. I will try my best to find them, but realistically, guys, I can't spend two hours trying to find one plate or five plates that I use, but I'll always put the number in. Hopefully that helps or you know, if I can, if it's there, then well, by all means I will. But I do just want to, like, throw that in there, right? I don't want Nodi to be disappointed. Um, but yeah, it's just going to get harder and harder as I keep buying more things. So we're going to use this image right here. I love this little marble image. And then we're going to use Clear Jelly 015, which is a nice light, light, like, gray tone, which I'm really liking it. Okay, what do we need? Back to my desk when I'm having like a good old like stamping session and you know everything's everywhere. So we're gonna do that. We are going to do that. Okay. 
And I love how you see it more at the tip. So again, you still get the French look or the baby boomer look. And well, it's still like an ombre. It's still a French in a sense because you're, you're whiting it out at the tip. But it's technically they call it a baby boomer. So but you're still seeing the more white at the end. And then you're seeing the nude, more the nudish complexion where my nail, it almost looks like my natural nail is coming out. So and it just gives it a little something. So we're going to do that one more time. I'm going to want to fill in these little pieces and I'll show you guys how I do that. But first things first, I'm just going to take a little bit of acetone. And this is it too, guys. I think this is why my nail, my nail proximal folds, which is this live skin right here, are very dry right now because I've used a lot of acetone with creating this set just on my skin and stuff. So I do have, um, or getting some, I haven't showed you guys yet, but um, some protector for my skin for when I'm stamping. And that should help when I won't get the stamping polish on my skin. Okay, enough of that. I keep rambling then, what am I looking for? I try to make this a short video and watch, it's gonna, still gonna be a 20 minute video. Guys, I don't know how to make short videos. The problem is I talk too much. Talk too much and got nothing to say. Isn't that crazy? Alright. I'm going to go back do this again. Because it's a full image, I do like just to go over it. The whole thing. Ah, ah, ah. Clean our stamper. As, this is why I honestly love clear jelly stamper stuff. It, it just picks up. Like... I don't know. I'm not going to lie and say like, oh, I just tried it one day and was like, yes, I'm in love. No, I went for clear jelly because I watched Talia and she swears by clear jelly. So I was like, all right, well, let me try it because I want to get into stamping. I think it's so neat. And well, the girl's not wrong. Like, you know what I mean? When you're right, you're right. Like she should know what she's talking about. She's been in the game quite some time, so I'm gonna take her word. And I tried it, so I bought some, I tried it. And like I said, she wasn't lying. It works. Like I don't I don't know what it is, what their formula is. You have playtime. Most of my well actually all my images pick up from whatever plates I have, and all my plates are from like Ali or Sheen for the most part. I think I only have like Yeah, really, I think that's at a couple Amazons. But, yeah, so, when you're right, you're right. Okay, so there we go. Can you please focus? So, that is what we have. Don't mind my nails, guys. They're dry. So, super, super cute. Now, let's just move the stamping stuff out of the way. Out of my way. Okay, we're just going to, where are you at, where are you at, there we go, top coat, we're going to go in and top coat these now, because we're good, we like what we see, I want to protect them, and then we're going to add our rings, and I bought these little diamond things from Ali, and they really they actually advertise them as like doing something like this and I was like OMG I have to try it I thought that was so cute it was just elegant to be honest I just like the way that it looked so when I didn't know what I was going to do with my nails I remember that I had these so I wanted to give that same method a try so that's what we're going to do and I really like it because I already did it on my other hands on my other nails okay we're going to use the GD Coco J225 and we're going to need whoa I've left that in that too long my poor brush poor poor brush okay so you just want to get a little on your brush and then work out your brush Sometimes when you leave it in your cleaner, which I think I left mine in my cleaner a little too long, it can fray the brush up. If you just put a little gel on it and let the gel, like work the gel through the brush, 
your brush will get back right back to normal. See? Okay. So this one I feel that we did up and down. So we're just going to go right about here. We're just going to do a nice little line. Okay, now I want my ring to look like, I don't know what's a good way, I don't know, I think this one. So you see how one's down and one's up? I don't know how you would call that, but I don't want it to line right up. You can go straight across and that'd be perfectly fine as well, but I want it to have just to be up a little bit. Not much. You don't want them to be too far apart because then it just won't look like a ring. We want this to look like we have a diamond ring on our nail. That's the vibe I'm going for. But, oh. Okay. Clean up brush. Okay, I feel like that was a very bad example. I ain't gonna lie guys, it doesn't always happen perfect, but this is why we top coat. Take it off. I'm just gonna try to do it like this, I think that'll be better. What are you focusing on? Okay, so straight down. Okay, now oh, let's get our other, and then we're going to go right about here. Okay, I feel like we're going to end up going straight across almost, and that's fine. This was defeating the purpose that I wanted to do, but it feels like that's what it wants to do, so we're going to let it do what it wants to do. So yeah, we're just going to go straight across, but you can put one up a little and then one down and then you'll get, like I said, you'll get like a little bit different of an effect, which is cute too, right? You could do it either or, but not too far apart though, because then you won't, it won't look right. It'll look a little wonky. You still have to get them to touch or look like they're going to touch underneath. So we're just doing that and you can just do that. Like you really could do that. You could do a line, go a line and make a smile line even. And then that could be your smile line, look really cool. Even if you were to take this part of that off, just do the smile line with the marble. There's so many, like I said, nice little ideas that you can do just to elevate a basic set. And that's this is what I call basic in my brain. Just something easy peasy. And don't get me wrong, it takes time to get the stamping down. And I'm not saying like, oh, stamping's hard, that's not easy. I'm not saying the stamping is easy, but it can be it can you can get to the point where it's not difficult right guys and that's all i'm saying so when you get to the stage where it's easier then you can call it easy right now if it still takes you time then it still takes you time that's nothing too crazy okay now what are we gonna do oh yes okay we need our ring so i have this little diamond okay we need just gonna use the venalisa nail glue which is a uh, medium consistency we're just going to use this little brush and then we're just going to put a little daub right in the middle now we don't want too much just a smidge get our dotting tool I knew that was the wrong thing to do, why I didn't leave it. Okay, get our piece of jewelry. Now, do we want that facing down? I have this one over here facing up, so I think I'm going to leave this one facing down. I just want it to be a little deaf. Okay. Once you have that pretty even, 
cute little ring. Why don't you focus? Okay, now we're just going to put that in the lamp and give it a cure. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, we're in the lamp. I have enough glue on that brush, so I'm just going to cover that glue. Give this its full time. Okay. Now we're going to take the remaining glue that's on the brush. What do you want to focus on, camera? That's what I want to ask you. Because it doesn't seem like you want to focus on my finger. Okay, so we're just going to go around it. You don't need a lot because that little bit of glue we already put on there it is your main glue. Now take this cleanup brush right around and wipe. All we're doing here is we're just gonna like triple secure that guy, make sure that it ain't going nowhere. Nothing worse than having a cute nail for only a day or two and then they pop off. Okay, now once that's all clean, I recommend go over your nail. We don't want no extra glue, so there we are. Okay, back in the light. Now, our second last step we're going to do is, where did I put it? We're going to put a little bit of foil on the gold. Yes, I know it's gold, but this gold is not as gold as I want it to be. So I wanted to make it just a smidge golder. Now, if you don't have this gold, you don't have to even use gold. You can just use a clear. So I would recommend going over with, because you're gonna want the elevation, you could probably do it with two layers of just the foil gel and still get that or you can go over with just a layer of gel regular gel and get that as well so just even go over with the top coat if you want and oh I don't know if the top coat would work good yeah I guess you could just go over it with the top coat and then from there, cure that, go over it with your foil gel. Cure that again, and then go over it with, then stamp your foil on it. That way you just get that little bit of elevation. Or just do two, just do two layers of foil gel too, that would work. Just clean it up, I think that's going to be your most important because it's clear. Okay, now we're going to go in and cure that, our foil gel, and I'm just using the Venelisa foil gel that's fine put that in for 50 seconds And then you just want to press it in. Why are you so... I feel like it's not focusing. Like it just wants to focus on I don't know what, but... There's really nothing else in the frame for you to want to focus on. Okay, we're gonna take... So we have acetone again over here, so we're just gonna go and clean this up. Remember, this is a ring, so we still... We want our lines to be pretty clean. So acetone will just take off any extra foil we don't want ok 
Okay, and once you're positive, we have no other foil. Let's go back in now with some top coat. And just go right up to your little ring. We don't want to go over that. There's no need to go over the bling. Don't hurt the bling. That's what it does. Bling cries every time you go over it with top coat. Okay, now let's go around. Alright. Just don't want to make sure that we have too, too much. Okay, let's just get that clean up brush one more time. Let's get in our side walls, just in case. You never know. We, we have all have moments. Okay, we're gonna give that a full cure and then we can oil up. And so this is my interpretation of basic, some basic beauties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just some pretty easy nail art, pretty standard. I hope you guys can take something good away from this video and hope you guys enjoy these little nails. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe, share with a friend, and I will see you in the next one. All right guys, bye.